Wow, look at you. You've already finished writing the entire forest food challenge chapter. You and Gemini make a great writing team, sweet. I think this is the best chapter yet. Nutty is so smart about the berries. She really is. And since the writing is done, are you ready for the next adventure? We're going to turn this script into a real storybook with pictures. A real storybook? How? Is that what Gemini Storybook is? Exactly. Think of it like a magic workshop. We give it our story, and it helps us create all the pictures to go with it, turning our script into a beautiful book we can flip through. And the first thing every book needs is a great cover. That sounds so cool. What should we do now? Well, Gemini Storybook is quite easy to use. For our first task, how about we ask Gemini to create a cover image for the Nutty Project, something with you, me, and Nutty getting ready for an adventure. Do you want to try writing the prompt? Yes! I remember from using Leonardo. You have to be super specific. Okay, here's my prompt. Create realistic 3D cartoon image for Mia and Mom Zaya's story. In the background, her mom, Zaya, an Asian-American AI engineer, Zaya has short, sleek, dark brown hair and soft, natural makeup. She wears a fitted sky-blue tech vest with fun AI pins over a STEM-themed t-shirt, comfortable jeans, and a smartwatch. Please keep her look consistently for all the photos. Mia is 8 years old Asian girl with height ponytail and yellow t-shirt. Have robot on it! That's a perfect prompt. Okay, let's see what it comes up with. Whoa! That's it! That's exactly what I pictured in my head. It's perfect. See? A great prompt gives you a great picture. Okay, our storybook has its cover. Now we can start illustrating the chapter itself. Are you ready to present the first scene? This is so cool. Yes, I'm ready. Go for it. You're the director. Mia and her best friend, Nutty the Squirrel, were on a grand adventure. Our mission, said Mia, is to find yummy, safe-to-eat foods in the forest. Her mom, Zaya, smiled. A wonderful mission, and I have a special tool to help you. Deep in the woods, the leaves crunched under their feet. Mia held her tablet, and Nutty scampered on her shoulder. Suddenly, Mia pointed. Ooh, look! Under a big oak tree was a bright red mushroom with little white spots. It's so pretty, it must be yummy, Mia said, reaching for it. Wait chittered Nutty. We have to check if it's safe, Zaya nodded. Nutty is right. Let's use our tool. Mia took a picture of the mushroom with her tablet. She tapped the screen and asked her AI helper, is this mushroom safe to eat? The tablet beeped and a big red X appeared on the screen. Warning, the AI's voice said. This is a poisonous mushroom. It will make you sick. Mia and Zaya looked at the screen. Wow. Mia whispered, it's dangerous. Zaya said, the A, I was very helpful. It used expert knowledge to warn us, but technology is just one tool. Sometimes we need real world wisdom too. My turn, chirped Nutty. She scampered up a log, her fluffy tail twitching. I'm a squirrel. My nose knows all the best snacks. She led Mia and Zaya deeper into the woods. Soon, Nutty stopped at a bush full of dark, shiny berries. First stop, blackberries, she announced. My grandma taught me that these are safe and sweet. Mia carefully picked one and tasted it. Yum! Next, Nutty's nose led them to a bush with purple, grape-like fruits, and then to a tree with long, dark berries. Sea grapes and mulberries, she declared. Both delicious and squirrel-approved. Mia showed her mom their basket full of berries. We did it. Zaya hugged her. You learned a big lesson today. It's best to use both expert knowledge from tools like your AI and the real-world wisdom of friends like Nutty to stay safe and have fun.